Hi everybody, today we are gonna to get ready for a cocktail party and the theme is Ravishing Red. So let's get started and I have already put on my moisturizer and my eye cream and I'm gonna use a little CC cream from Skin, S-K-I-N-N, and I get it on evine.com. You can use any CC cream or BB cream or foundation that you want to. I'm using about this much of mine and I'm just gonna dot it all over and I like this kind of foundation because it gives me a very light minimal coverage and when I'm going to put on a little eye makeup and kind of a bold lip I don't want anything too deep or too cakey in the foundation department so this is the most like natural skin that I have I'm just going to kind of massage it gently a little bit below my jawline so that I don't have a line of demarcation, but it's almost like putting on a moisturizer. It's really easy. Okay, next we're going to do some concealer. This also is from Skin. And I'm going to do my broken capillary. And I have one above this eye. I'm not getting it. There we go. And other than that, I have a zit that's kind of drying up, but oopsie, I need to cover that up too. There we go. Okay, after that, I'm going to use my ready to wear, I already broke the compact. This is the, oopsie, ready to wear top. Here's the powder, and you can see it's all different colors. It's called Italian Marble Baked Powder. So I'm gonna take a big poofy brush just give myself a little dusting of this powder to kind of set the CC cream. And you don't need much, but this will give you, <clears throat> excuse me, more of a satin finish and a little more durability to your look. Next, let's do a red lip. I'm gonna line my lips with this pencil from Skin. You can use any lip pencil you want. There we go. There's the top. And there's the bottom. And I'm gonna use this Rouge lip, uh, red lipstick from HSN. It's from French Rendezvous. So that's a beautiful shade of red. And that is gonna be the focal point of my look. So I am going to give it a little gloss. And you can do a lot of gloss or a little bit, whatever you want. I'm gonna kinda of do a medium amount. So it's nice and red, nice and shiny, and I feel ready to have some fun. Okay, next let's do our eyes. I am taking this under eye decrinkler and lid lift from skin. And I'm going to go under my eyes and above. And I'm just going to kind of pat that in gently. And you've seen me use this before. It doesn't take effect right away, but by the time my makeup is finished, you'll see that my eyes look a little bit smoother. They're kind of wrinkled, kind of crinkled, so this will help. All right, now I have on my CC cream and my powder. I'm going to do a little bit of blush, and today I'm gonna to use the more red of these two blushes on my denim wear collection from Ready to Wear that I got on HSN. Again, any blush you want will work. I'm gonna smile and then just kind of swoop. Smile and swoop. And then I like to go kind of from above my ear down in kind of a fan shape on either side. So it's almost like a triangle. A little extra at the kind of top of my cheekbones and blend it in. I'm gonna blend it down. Just in case there's any little hairs. I did use some uh, facial hair remover recently 
but if you're worried, always go with a little downward swoosh of your brush and any little hairs will just lay right down. Okay, next, a little highlighter because we're going out and it's the evening, we wanna look beautiful. I'm gonna take this pretty highlighter right here, smaller brush, and right from the edge of my cheekbone inward. So you can see this super easy, doesn't take too long, and it's very subtle. It's not like you have high beams on your cheekbones. It's just a little bit of light. Everybody needs a little bit of light. And I think I'm going to do a tiny amount of contour. I'm gonna use this darker shade down here and make a fish face, go up and blend it in. So you can see that almost instantly takes effect. And then I like to go along the jawbone, a little bit above, and that'll be it for today. Okay, so now I'm moving on to eyes. And for today, I am going to take a teeny little brush, and I'm going to, for the most part, be using the top three. So if you have eyeshadow at home in these colors, it's a taupe, a cream, and kind of a champagne color. So I'm gonna take the taupe, and I'm going to go under my lashes. Now, if you don't like to go under your lashes, you don't have to. I've always liked a little bit of a line under my lower lashes, but some people say that makes you look older. I don't care. I still like it. Okay, now we're going to go above. So this is a little more subtle uh, liner color than I normally use because I am doing a bold lip. Sometimes I like a bold lip and a bold eye, but for tonight, we're just doing a little more subtle eye and a little more flashy lip. There, okay. So now I'm gonna take a little bit bigger brush a little bit fluffier one, take the lightest shade and take that all over my lid, all the way up to the brows. There we go. And then I'm going to take, I'll find the brush I want, this champagne shade right here and I am going to do the crease. So it's almost imperceptible. Just a hint darker than the cream color. Very good. And that's where I'm gonna stop. Now I'm going to do my brows. And I'm just gonna brush them a little bit. And sometimes I use a brow pomade, sometimes I'm using a brow pencil Today, I'm going to go back to my shadow box, or my little palette, and I'm gonna use the dark brown shade right there for my brows. Again, I'm gonna take a little brush and just a tiny bit of shadow. After I brush my brows, I'm just gonna kind of touch that in. Again, you can barely see it, but there's one with out, and there's one with just a little bit more defined, a little bit more filled in, and that's all I need for today. I don't need a lot of um, strength in my brow. I'm going for a softer look. There we go. So that's fine for the brows. And now we'll do lashes. Now I have this new thing I'm going to try Sometimes I use it, sometimes I, whoopsie, sometimes I don't. It's called One Two Lash, and it's really expensive. They cost like $63, and it takes forever for them to get here, but I thought I'd show you. I just closed it accidentally. There we go. Okay, so this is what it looks when you open it. It's got two sets for each side, and you put one on the top, one on the bottom. There's a magnet that holds them together, Sometimes I can get them on, sometimes I can't, so let's hope for the best. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on the top, and I do it on the outside, so you can just kind of see it's just kind of hanging there. 
And then I'm going to take the bottom one with the magnet and you put that under. Uh oh, Ooh. that's the problem. I dropped it. So I'll use a spare. Okay, that one's there. There, see how they kind of connected? And now the outer portion of my eyelashes are more flirty and more fluttery, and there's no glue. Okay, so let's try the other side. Let's see how I do. I'll take the top one, kind of put it right there on my lashes, just balancing. Then you take the bottom ones and go underneath and voila they're sticking together so far so good so i'm going to go with that uh, i don't know i guess it's okay um so now what i'm going to do is take a little mascara this is the ready to wear mascara in black and i'm going to go underneath on both sides. And then I'm just gonna do kind of the inner portion that the lashes are not covering. So I'm gonna kind of go in at an angle and just do those inner lashes on either side. And you can't really tell, but this one is about to fall off. If I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably do that one over again. But for the video, it's fine. So that's my makeup. I have on a red cocktail dress with a little jewelry. I'm gonna take my flat iron and kind of go over my hair one more time, just kind of in the front so it looks a little better since I had it kind of back away from my face for the makeup. And brush it out. Give it a little shine spray. Give myself a little spritz of perfume. This is my Agent Provocateur Batal Intense. It smells really sexy. I love it. So if you want a little confidence booster, ah, there we go. This is a good one. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my outfit. And I have on red shoes and a little red cocktail dress, some gold jewelry, and I'm going to put on a little fake fur in black. You can skip the fake fur jacket depending on the weather. And I have a little gold bag that you can either tuck the um, strap inside and just carry it as a clutch, or you can use it as a shoulder bag. So here's the whole outfit. I hope you like it, and I am ready to go to a party. So I hope you ladies have fun getting ready to go out wherever you're going. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for watching, and I love you so much. Bye.